Hey all, Chris from Science of Speed. So when Science of Speed had the opportunity to design a supercharger system for the first generation NSX, we brought nearly 20 years of experience, not only with the NSX, but also supercharger systems that have been available for the car. So today, I'm gonna to introduce you to that system. First, we're gonna talk a little bit about the design. Next, we're gonna see it actually in action here at Science of Speed in our dyno booth. And lastly, we're gonna talk a little bit about how the kit is gonna be offered. This is the first supercharger system for the NSX to be designed completely in CAD with computational fluid dynamics testing applied and using other modern technology like 3D scanning and 3D printing to allow us to move through the conceptual, beta, and production phases of development. This was an ambitious project for the team here at Science of Speed, and although a large investment for the company, we knew this was an exceptional opportunity to take everything we saw as needing improvement in prior products and produce the best engineered system using this modern technology. So that modern technology has allowed us to really step through the development phase of the product. We're doing all of our initial performance testing on this 1995 Midnight Pearl NSX. This NSX has those production-ready designs of the inlet and intake manifold that we designed and tested through CFD analysis. But instead of having to wait for the casted aluminum components, we've actually 3D printed the inlet and intake manifolds using a fiber-reinforced nylon material. That allows us to start on the performance and tuning while the aluminum production components are completed. This NSX has a number of sensors we've added to monitor temperature and pressures in the system of this test car. So you're gonna see a lot more wires and uncovered fuel injectors than the production system will have. However, very prominently, you can see a key component to the Science of Speed supercharger system, the Twin Vortice Series or TVS 1900 supercharger. Although this supercharger is much larger than superchargers used in other systems, with a clever manifold design, we're able to maintain the same height as smaller 1.6 liter and 1.7 liter supercharger systems used by other manufacturers. In fact, we've actually been able to decrease the height while having increased efficiency and mass airflow compared to our older 2.1 liter supercharger kit. Not only have we been able to use this larger supercharger and maintain the height of other systems, but we've also been able to take advantage of a key feature of the TVS 1900, an internal bypass valve. See, when adding an intercooler, other systems have to add the intercooler on top of the manifold. This creates a limitation as far as how thick the core can be, only about an inch, due to the height restriction of the rear glass. With the TVS design, we've been able to integrate the optional intercooler with more than a two inch thickness core with a zero impact on height. One of the best things about the TVS supercharger being an OEM design is that it's exceptionally quiet. So your NSX still sounds like an NSX. The system has built-in expandability, including the ability to add the intercooler like we discussed, but also an inlet manifold design that allows both a factory throttle body to be used as well as larger 75 millimeter throttle bodies, which significantly improve performance. So with dyno testing complete, we now have some preliminary performance numbers to share. At six PSI, the system produced about 360 wheel horsepower, and at nine PSI, over 390 horsepower. Now, this performance was generated without an intercooler. We'll have those results to share soon. However, what we were really impressed with is inlet temperatures. With the TVS system, the inlet temperatures, even without an intercooler, were 20 to 30 degrees cooler than we normally see from other systems. Initially, we'll be introducing the supercharger system in two trims, tuner and stage two. The tuner system allows customers to use their existing fuel and engine management systems. This system is capable of over 100 to 175 horsepower gains with intercooling. The stage two system includes a fuel system and engine management system from Science of Speed 
and is also capable of 100 to 175 horsepower gains with intercooling. In development now is our Stage 1 system. This will fit in between the tuner and Stage 2 system in price and allows 80 to 100 horsepower gains with no tuning required. We'll be offering this supercharger system for sale shortly, and for more information, please visit our website at scienceofspeed.com.